Good evening. Thank you for joining me. Before I start, uh, it's, I have to read a, a health disclaimer. The information that will be discussed is not intended nor meant to substitute for the advice provided by your doctor or, or other health care provider and is not intended for diagnosing or treating a health problem or disease condition or prescribing any medication. The information provided is for informational purposes only. I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Elvin Dahl. I have a doctorate in natural medicine and I am the founder and CEO of Life Choice. Next year will mark the 30th year for Life Choice and uh, my years of experience in this industry is the reason I'm drawing, uh, is I'm drawing from this uh, uh, information of my background for the study tonight is uh, our discussion on total gut health. Now, the, uh, the issue with total gut health is it's, it's very complex and it involves probably many of the, the, uh, the disease processes that are known today. A lack of digestion and, and the disease connection. First, we'll identify the problems and offer a solution consisting of a digestive enzyme and probiotic complex. Gut disease studies uh, with cold analogies. In one study, 200 college students who had colds were given a 1 billion CFUs each of Lactobacillus ramos and Bacterium uh, amylus. Uh, lactase and the study group's colds lasted for only four days compared to six days in a placebo controlled group. Allergic responses are also thought to be caused by a lack of diversity in the intestinal flora. The next one was the connection between gut health and depression and anxieties. Now studies have been performed and mice revealed that the mice were fed bacterium Lactobacillus ramos and showed fewer symptoms of anxiety and depression. So here we have that what's happening in the gut is also a factor that's influencing uh, a mental illness. Another one was uh, was done on on mice. Now the the study found that the, the mental behavior of mice. It, when the study found that switching their, their gut bacteria caused uh, alterations uh, of their mental health. And another study found that the enzyme loss is connected to a set of familiar neurological diseases. Diet is also a crucial factor in the synaptic plasticity and the overall mental health. So here we go. It's, it's, uh, it, you can see how the diseases are connected to the gastrointestinal region. Now, probiotics can help symptoms of lactose intolerance, hepatic disease, inflammatory disease, allergic and other uh, immune disorders. And probiotics can also remove inflammation. Now, inflammation is, is associated with most disease processes, whether it be from cancer, whether it be from arthritis, or autoimmune disorders, inflammation is usually involved. This is because the white blood cells are there to try to heal the area and they get an overabundance. And really our own defense mechanism starts to create a, an inflammation process. And this translates into other areas of the body as well. Now the next uh, slide is uh, the I think we found that bacteria is enzyme loss. Now here was another one with mental health and the study found that switching the gut bacteria uh, found that the enzyme loss is connected to a set of familiar neurological diseases. So diet is a crucial factor as we already went through that. The next one is the, the leaky gut syndrome. And the leaky gut syndrome is, uh, is, a, is a real issue that affects a lot of, a lot of the population. And it also uh, affects irritable bowel syndrome. Now here we have the stress, the toxins, the food particles, uh, the drugs, the pathogens, and the, the organ uh, malfunction. 
So when we have these breaks within the intestinal wall, the, the, these bacteria and the, the, the stress and all these influence this. And so we, what we're seeing here is these things can pass through where they should be blocked. So uh, the leaky gut syndrome is a, good, a condition uh, when the intestines become damaged. Uh, the, the villi uh, of the intestinal wall becomes compressed or compromised. And so you do not have the, how they can take the nutrients and bring them in and pass them through the, uh, the intestinal wall. The openings develop in, in the gut wall and become porous. So they allow not only the undigested food to get into the, the bloodstream, but also the pathogens, the toxins, and the other types of waste that should normally have been screened out. Now, these toxins cause the liver to work much, much harder and trying to keep things clean and may not be able to hand the de handle the detoxification demands. Again, the liver, the liver comes under attack. And here we're going to, we'll learn more about the importance of the liver in, in the next few slides. So the liver comes under attack because it can't, deal with the, the detoxification demands and as the poisons begin to build within the body. Uh, two diseases in particular that are, are associated are Crohn's disease and the ulcerative colitis. Uh, these are two forms of the inflammatory bowel disease, which is also related to the leaky gut syndrome. And both diseases leads to high mortality, uh, morbidity and and high, high uh, medical costs and healthcare costs. So the, the, the one relief that, that we see is the probiotic. Now, the one that we're, we're discussing today is lactocan. Now, lactocan is human origin strains. Now, human origin strains, so they come from the healthy linings of, of healthy individuals from humans. So they're not synthetic they are what our body is accustomed to. And so they're taken from these healthy strains to develop this, the, 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 the CFUs, the colony forming units, colony forming units. Uh, so, it, so they do not feed the back bacteria and all strains, so there's 10 billion in the uh, lactobacillus uh, is, is one of them, in the lactocan. So they're clinically proven and scientifically tested. Now they're shelf stable, so they don't need refrigeration. Now the problem with, uh, uh, with refrigerated probiotics, yes, they may be good and they may be able to hold their, their uh, uh, stability. But the thing is that most people forget about them in the refrigerator and they don't take them on a regular basis like they should. Uh, the, the beauty about lactocan is that it is shelf stable for up to three years. And, and this is because we have a, a probiotic and a prebiotic. So the, the probiotic feed off the prebiotic. And another thing is that it's, uh, it, it's blister packed. Now the blister pack is very important feature here is because what it does, it prevents oxid oxidation. As soon as you open, say, uh, an, a regular brand that's not lactocan and not uh, blister pack, you've exposed oxygen to the whole bottle. And so over a time period, each time you open it, it becomes more oxidized. Uh, with, with what we found is to keep the oxygen out, you only expose one for uh, five, five minutes before you're taking it. And so it stays active. You're not killing off the bacterial content. The, the strains we have in this formulation, as I say, they're all scientifically tested and proven, and they're all licensed. The licenses on each strain are on the box. It has the last of Basilicus ramos, which is the most abundant in the intestinal tract and within the gut. And this is where we have the uh, 6 billion. Uh, the Lactobacillus acidophilus is 1 billion because it is not as abundant within a normal, healthy uh, stomach gut. So then we have the Cassie, the Lactobacillus Cassie. It's at the same level as the acidophilus. It's not as abundant, so there's less amount. And then the longum, bacteria longum, is 2 billion. What, what uh, lactocan does is it creates the exact bacteria of a healthy gut. And again, they're human strains. So this is what the body takes in as being normal. It's something it's familiar with. Now, 
the lactoglan can survive the intestinal acid and bile, unlike many other probiotic uh, brands. Now, the probiotics are known for their, uh, their digestive abilities, uh, but not as much as for their immunity properties. So it helps build the immune system. Now the next slide is probiotics have been found to aid in tumor reductions. So they also exhibit some anti-carcinogenic effects. In a study, 18 healthy males and females were switched from a dairy-rich diet to a dairy-free diet. Uh, with the diet dairy removed, cell survival decreased from 34 to 20%, revealing the potential tumor-promoting activities. So as we know, dairy, um, like yogurt in this nature, has probiotics, active probiotics. So when you remove all the dairy from the bodies, then you can see that the tumor acting for, uh, properties start to be proliferate. So what we find is that if having probiotics within the diet, it actually prevents tumor activity. The next one is probiotics can help with symptoms of lactose intolerance. So those that are allergic to drinking milk, they, if, if they did want to have uh, dairy products reintroduced, it helps in this case. It also helps with hepatic disease. And as I said, the disease process affects the liver prior to this. So the, the hepatic disease is very important and helps with that. It helps with the inflammatory process of the diseases. So it's associated with all diseases. So it helps with this. It helps with allergies. Those that have blocked up sinuses in this nature could usually be attributed to the gastrointestinal region and other immune disorders. So probiotics reduce inflammation, which translates not only regional, but to all areas of the body as well. Now, the, 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 the beauty is that with, uh, with the, the lactocan, it's designed to implant themselves on specific intestinal receptors. And the, what they do is they actually come in and they start to seal certain areas within the intestinal wall. And they, they actually last for a longer period of time. So it's consistent effect. So the pathogens have a much harder time of sticking to the intestines. This is where they really live. They, they attach themselves on the intestinal wall, and then they start to feed off the, the, the bad bacteria. And this is what grows the proliferation of the, the bad bacteria within the gut. Now, with the prebiotic, as I say, it is vegan. So it is insulin and inulin, and uh, it has the FOS. And the lactocan feed only the good bacteria. So it's vegan because it's derived from the chicory root, and it's shelf-stable. So potency without refrigeration. So excellent when you're traveling. The next one where we're going to talk about is uh, the other part of the of a healthy digestive system is the full spectrum digestive enzymes. Now, full spectrum meaning it covers all the areas of the food. So your your proteins, your carbohydrates, your your your, your starches, your sugars, the fibers. It helps to break these all down. So it promotes healthy gut and overall health and it aids in the digestive process. Uh, this is a very unusual blend. I don't think you'll find a blend equal to uh, the full spectrum digestive enzyme by life choice. It has uh, your amylase, it has your maltase, your, your, your beetroot, which is again unique because it helps with uh, the digestive process, the betaine hydrochloride, the bromelain. And then again, we have another uh, known uh, enzyme is your papain, your pepsin, your protease. And then we also have the in invertase, and then we have kale in here, because kale with the antibacterial properties, and lysine uh, in the fermented form, because what this does is it helps to build the strength of the immunity within the, uh, within the stomach lining and the intestinal walls. So it, it's, a, it's a very unique formulation for, for treating the full gut. Now, the, the next slide is that this product is not vague. 
uh, the, the, the probiotic, the prebiotic that we have is vegan, but the, the formulation in itself is, is not vegan. And we've done that for a purpose. The, 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 the lactocan is vegan. Yes, it is. But the enzyme, we put in ox bile. And the reason for ox bile is that society is not vegan. They're not vegetarian by general. They, they eat meat, they, they combine their foods, and they, they, have, uh, they need a lot of help. And ox bile helps the digestive process, and especially those that have uh, without gallbladders. The gallbladder is responsible for storing the bile. Now, bile is produced normally within the liver, but is released by the gallbladder. So when the gallbladder is, is not there, and it's absent, it's been removed, then the, the liver must produce the bile, and then it's sent to the small intestines for delivery. But this severely marginalizes effectiveness. So those without a gallbladder would greatly benefit by taking this digestive enzyme with ox bile because it aids in that process and, and eliminates that, that block or that space that is missing. The next is uh, we're going back to that, that, that slide that we had before on the leaky gut syndrome. And, it, and it, could be, it could be also caused by a lack of digestive enzymes, not only probiotics. So a lack of probiotics, yes, makes us more susceptible to disease. But probiotic strains such as the lactobacillus used in the lactocan can be used to help normalize the gut flora. Now, so enzymes with uh, uh, the probiotics brings total gut health. An interesting theory that has been uh, been brought out in the, and is on the, the relationship by the gastrointestinal tract when it's out of order and autism. And here is where it stems from incompletely digested proteins which enter into the central nervous system and interfere with its functions. So studies exploring this connection would suggest that the digestive enzymes and probiotics could ease the symptoms of even autism. Now, we're, we're going to uh, give you, prior to going into uh, the conclusion, but all disease begins within the gut. And this is what Hippocrates made this statement over 2,000 years ago. And it is truer today than ever with the diet and the fast foods and the processed foods. Our bodies rely on proper enzymes and healthy microbes to work within the pathogenic bacteria and to produce antibacterial cultures in order to strengthen the intestinal walls and to support our immune system. The bodily process of digestion and absorption is one of the most important to our health. Life choice, lactocan, and full spectrum digestive enzymes can help maintain a healthy gut for better overall health. Another way to, to help the digestive process and to improve digestion is to come to down to the terms of some of the basic principles. Like you walk into a restaurant and you watch how the waitress comes and they start filling the, the glasses with water. Now, this is really bad for the digestive process. No liquid should be consumed 20 minutes uh, before you can uh, 20 minutes before or 90 minutes after you eat, especially for high protein foods and fatty foods. Because what it's doing is lessening the effect of your hydrochloric acid and your alkaline, and it, it, it actually blocks that. And of course, food combining, we're, we're not going to go into that, but the proteins and carbohydrates should not be mixed in the first place, but that's another discussion. So what I recommend is to take the full spectrum digestive enzyme with the first bite of food. And I personally take the lactocan probiotic five minutes before eating. Some uh, some professionals believe that it's best to take it within uh, a five minutes after. But I believe it's good to have it get down into the gut so it's allowed to open and it's allowed to start adhering to the intestinal wall prior to food coming into the gut. So 
I, I believe that also to help the, the stomach, we, that we should do, drink plenty of water between meals. So to keep our body properly hydrated. And so signs of total gut improvement are energy, vitality, and a stronger immune system. This is going to make a, a major difference in people's lives. And where they're also finding uh, that there is a connection, and we'll go into this maybe in another training, where hormones are also affected by what's happening within the gut. It's a, it's a very interesting study that they're just re revealing on the balance of hormones uh, and the gastrointestinal tract. So what we've discussed here is how something that we think take for granted our, our gut and our intestines could affect mental health, it could affect our skin, it could affect uh, our, 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 our resistance to, to cancer, and it all comes down to the gut. So Hippocrates, he did have it right. Now, the studies that were used in this, we had several studies from the Pediatric Science Direct, and uh, and they're all, and this is just a fraction of the studies that we, we brought this information out to, to the public. So if you have any questions, you can always write us at lifechoice.net and uh, our info at lifejazzchoice.net or to phone our office. Thank you for joining us this evening for this, uh, this meeting, and I hope you have a good evening.